Hey everybody, Dion here with the Turquoise Iris. Just about to finish this tutorial up, you all. Um, thank you for joining me. This is part seven, which is also the finale where we're going to actually add wax to this. We're gonna age it a little bit, make it look as not so brand new and freshly painted. Um, Instagram, hello. I have not been on there in a while streaming live. We took a little bit of a break, um, but we've got YouTube and Facebook and Instagram all streaming. So if you see me looking around, I just want to make sure that I look at each little camera. So thank you for being patient. I don't want to leave anybody else out. Matt is here with me reading your comments. Hello. And so if you have any questions, please feel free to type them out and um, he'll read them to me. If we miss it, we apologize. Sometimes they come in kind of quickly. Um, anyway, this is the piece I'm calling Timeless Flora. I've painted the entire piece live for you all. So if you need to go back and watch the beginning on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and that you are clicking the little bell so you get alerts when I go live. But there's a playlist option. And so what I do is I categorize all my work and put them in a playlist by the name. So this is Timeless Flora. And so you can find from part one to part seven. So um, because I actually paint a whole piece of furniture, it's very time consuming. So we break it up into like little 30 to 40 minute sections. And it's also so to where you're not having to sit and watch the whole thing in case um, you are actually a furniture artist as well and want to apply this to stuff that you're doing at home. Um, hello, you're not getting sound on Facebook. Um, anybody else? Thank you, Penny. Guys, on YouTube, thank you so much for the thumbs up. Um, yes, Matt is here with me as well. Thank you. What I told you last night is that we're going to do wax. So here's what I have right in front of me. I have dark brown. I have clear, white, and a little bit of gold. So the gold is gonna go directly up top to the, um, you know what, we should have started up there. So there are two, what are those called, honey, like appliques that are up there. And yeah, if we can go straight up um, where we can see these pieces here, I'm gonna start with the gold wax there because I wanna make sure I highlight it, but I don't really want to change the color and make them stand out too much. The top, this entire piece was painted with black, velvet and I ended up finishing it with um, a watered down paint in my bottle of water lily. That's perfect, Matt. Hello everybody. I see your familiar faces and names popping on tonight. So you can see these little pieces right here. I want to highlight them but not make them too like in your face. Um, Instagram, I'm sorry. There you go. So I mixed up I put a little golden ticket into my clear wax. So I'm just, I've got my brush and I have a different brush for each color. I don't clean my brushes other than just on a damp cloth. My go-to is just to clean them. I don't put any moisture in them. That's what I mean when I say. Um, Robert also has no volume on, on Facebook. Anybody else? That's two people. You might have to go in Go back out and come back in. Close it out completely. Matthew, do you have volume? I have mine turned down. Can you turn it up and see if you have volume? You might have to go in. Yep, he yep, does. I got it. Okay, I am just highlighting the scroll work here. And I'm also going to have the gold wax over the um, hardware a little bit. And then we're going to age these flowers and leaves just a little bit. You guys gave me so much valuable information yesterday. They were awesome. They were. They were so helpful. Facebook and YouTube throwing out some great ideas. Thank you. I love that. Um, Annabella Santos, she gives you a kiss from Lisbon, Portugal. 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 That's awesome. Thank you so much for being here. So I'm just, I've got a little bit of golden ticket in my clear. And so I'm just highlighting where the hardware is. Um, these little scroll pieces, I have golden ticket already on this beautiful knob. And then there's another, there's two other hinges. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on there real quick, you guys. So, and you made the golden ticket, the I wax, did. right? I did, I just took a little bit. I had a little bit of clear left in this little jar and then I poured some golden ticket and stirred it around really well. So it's really soft and subtle. Um, but I'm liking it. I think I'm just going to use the rest of it because it's very little. So I'm going to use a little bit, no volume. Some people have it, some people don't. Some people can't get on their phone. It's working. It's going to work. Okay. Out. All right. Keep going. 
Well, I am going to keep going um, and frame this out with some of the Golden Ticket wax because this is basically clear, but it has a little bit of a sparkle in it. So it gives it a really nice sheen, especially when you're looking at it from the side. But right now it's darker than what it normally will. We'll, it's darker because it's wet, so it'll dry a little bit lighter. I wanna use all this, and I might highlight some of my flowers too with this shimmer. So let's do that. Let's um, let's take the rest of this and wrap it around some of the petals for the flower. Matt, I need it to go back down, right please. Down a bit. Yep, about midway, this area right here. Thank you. Perfect. That's perfect. All right. So I'm going to take this, the what's left, and just put it on the leaves. And maybe just the outside edges. I've got brown and I've got white as well. We're just gonna kind of play. Uh, Celtic Muse. Hi, Celtic Muse. Where did you get your furniture dollies? Um, these are from Northern Tool. You can also get them at uh, Freight Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. Mm -hmm. Northern Tool, Harbor Northern Freight. Tool. Sometimes Lowe's and Home Depot have them, sometimes. Just make sure you get the ones that are really sturdy. You want to get the ones that can hold, gosh, I think they're like 160 pounds. Uh, more than that. Um, it's like 300. Yeah, make sure you get the really nice ones. Don't settle for those little cheapy ones because they won't last and someone could get hurt. Uh, Pamela Holland, Resmond. The wax brush, is it a paint pixie brush? It is a paint pixie. It is called the Lil C. Lil, Lil C. C. Like Lil C or Little C? Lil, L-I-L, Lil, Lil C. C. Yes, yeah, so there's a little bit of shimmer in this wax because I added Golden Ticket to it, you all. And it's gonna turn out being really, really pretty. So, got about all of that used. And it's a homemade wax. It's got Golden Ticket, right? Yep, yeah, just added some Golden Ticket to clear. You can add any color you want to clear. I want to highlight some of these petals. Okay, so let's now get some brown. Brown? Was yeah. brown ever discussed? Yeah, dark wax. Oh. Oh, I thought there was dark wax and then brown wax. Wait a minute, is that dark and decrepit? No. No. There's black or brown. Oh. I don't have black, but I do have brown. So the brown, babe, is um, like dark brown. Like you have to, you, you have a really hard time telling until you get it on your piece of furniture. But again, I'm using all paint pixie brushes. So is that a different little C? It's an older little C, but it's the same one. It's an original one. It's one of the first ones, but they last forever. Paint pixie lasts forever, so I still use the same one. I should probably, I should probably treat myself to a new one. I don't know. What do you think? Um, okay, so I want to antique some of these. So I am going to do just a little bit of brown. Uh, do you clean your wax brushes same as the others? That's Barbara Sullivan. I don't. I don't add any moisture at all to my wax brushes. I clean them on my drop cloth, get all the extra wax off, and then when I'm ready to use it again, I rub it on my drop cloth and go. And like I said, I've never washed this. I've had it, what, almost two years? Yeah. Yeah, that's how long they last. So I am aging all of this, you all. And I'm going in a circular motion because all of the paint that has been layered up for these flowers and it's creating a really pretty texture. And well, I just absolutely love the way this looks right here. I don't oh, know if you can see this, yeah, Matthew, but this is it. good stuff. Yeah, I can see it now. Okay. Gives it some depth. Yeah, the shading. It might be hard to see on, on, on the on the camera, but it really gives us some good depth. Maybe we can get some close-ups in a little bit. Oh, definitely. I will, for sure. 
And then I'm still thinking about adding back in white too, but I've got to put the dark in first and we'll highlight with the white. And Melanie K. Carpenter. Hi, Melanie. Do you wrap the wax brushes when finished? No. Nope. I know. They don't dry out, guys. It's wax, so. And Pamela Holland Resman, will you buff it with the big brush when you are done? I absolutely will. I want to seal it and I want to create a really durable finish. I want to add a little bit of a luster to it and make this wax really shine. Um, question, Jasmine Smith has a question. Uh, some waxes I have used have a consistency of a, a little like paint. How are these waxes? It's hard. Is it hard, more fluid? It's kind of like, this is how I can always compare it to like a heavy night cream because, or like butter that's been sitting out all day, like a marge strip of margarine. If it's been sitting out all day, it's softened. That's what this is like. You can just, it just, it melts right in your hands. It's beeswax, so it's just, it's as soft as can be. It's not hard. Um, it's good seeing it on camera, love it. Okay, so you guys can see the difference. So by using it, since you were using a golden ticket, now you're using uh, brown. Right. And you picked up a different brush, is that normal? Yeah, can you, can I use a different brush because um, I've been using the same brush for so many years. But all of that golden ticket that I put on right here, you guys, you can still see it all on here. You can just see that soft, soft shimmer. Um, wow, it looks really good. Uh, Vicki, it looks like no wood. Hi, Vicki. Uh, do you have to buff with a brush? Can a rag be used? Absolutely, you can use a dry cotton cloth. Not a problem. I actually use a brush, um, but you can just use a cloth. Just an old t-shirt even would work fine. Not a problem. I love using a wax, you guys. It adds so much texture. Cindy Burnell? Yep. Just joining? What's I the see. plan for wax? Any colored waxes? Yeah, we've already done golden, gold wax. She did, she missed the gold ticket wax, right? Yep, we already did gold, now we have brown. <coughs> and we're going to use white, so we're not actually going to use clear at all. This looks awesome. You see it, Matt? Oh, I do. No, it, it definitely made a huge difference. It's crazy. I want it to look like it was painted a long time ago, not, you know, this week. Oh, Catherine Miles. Hi, She's Catherine. late. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, I want to leave this blue up here with the black, but. Uh, Jasmine Smith, question. Yeah. You think using wax is okay for a table, one that is used often? As long as you put three coats on and please buff in between them because buffing solidifies the wax and helps it cure and creates a dur very, very durable finish. I'm turning it on its side while the camera's at this height. So I'm gonna do the side here and then we'll lower the camera and I'll sit on the ground and do the bottom parts for you all. Uh, Day Diane Mello Dodge. On Facebook, do you have a specific wax for specific brushes, i.e., only one brush with white wax, or do you use white wax one day on a brush and black wax on the same brush the next day? Guys, I have all my brushes, white, black, brown, I have gold, and I have clear. I use a different brush for all of them. Gavin says hi. I'm hi, Gavin. Sanding his cabinet now. I got to eat dinner outside with Bart. He's homeless and gets cans from someone around here. And I asked him if he wanted to come and eat dinner, but he said he was too dirty. Oh, well, that was very nice, Gavin. Well, it was nice of you to ask him, Gavin. That was so nice of you. Oh, so um, he got some food and went outside. There you go. 
Very nice. Oh, I see. He didn't want to come inside. He just wanted to stay outside. That was super nice, Gavin. Um, Karen Brown. Hi, Karen. Do you put anything over the wax? Oh, uh, no, she's replying to Chris. I apologize. That's okay. No, yeah. You know what I didn't do? I didn't do the gold wax, you guys. What? I forgot to do the gold wax. Let me put the brown down. Uh, Robin Harrison, question. What is the closest type of paint to golden ticket for we in Australia? I don't know. I'm sorry. I unfortunately do not have an answer for you on that. Um, you can use, a, you know, a gold paint. You just, the difference is, is that you want to water it down. Because the liquid patina golden ticket is very watered down. And so when it dries, it's very sheer, which is just what gives it its beautiful iridescent look and not an actual paint color. Lauren Johnson on Facebook. I normally use clear first so I can control the dark or colored wax. You did not use clear first. Just wondering why. Um, only because I've done it so many times. Otherwise, I'm supposed to tell you, you should use clear first. It does help you, and it does um, help you have better control. I just, I don't, out of habit, I've been waxing for so many years that I just kind of roll with it. But good, good plan. You should do that. Catherine Miles, yes, that is black wax she was using, but are you on the golden ticket now? Or still yeah, I put, I put down the brown. It's actually brown. I'm not using any black tonight. Um, I put that down because I forgot to add in the gold. And I want to make sure I use this gold. It's so pretty. I'm excited to photograph this, of course, for you guys. Okay, so I'll set this down. We've used all the golden wax, and then we'll go back to the brown. Uh, Catherine L. Robbins, uh, she wanted to know the, the golden wax. It's actually, it's homemade. It's a clear wax, DIY clear wax. And she added some golden ticket. Indeed. Okay. I always keep a rag handy when I'm using colored waxes as well. So I can blot it. Ooh, $25 from Jasmine Oh, Smith. Jasmine, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Oh, my goodness. Jasmine, what a nice, yeah. Like, I don't even know what to say. I appreciate that so much. Wow. We've been racking our brain about what type of lighting. We, I, I have an idea of lighting, but as far as audio, that's another thing. Well, there's so many options. And yeah, so maybe. it's like it's a small room, but then there's just there's so many options. Trying to find the best one is, is the kicker. And not to spend a fortune. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't want to spend a fortune. I just don't. But I also want to give you guys the best audio and lighting that we can. So just know that we are we're working on it when time allows. Matt's doing his research on his lunch breaks, right? <laughs> yeah. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Robert, here's a question. Yep. Once you finish the piece, do you go back? And tidy up the door and drawer edges. Yes. I just don't do all that boring stuff on a live because that's, those are just things that I kind of take for granted. I don't really think, I mean, I, yes, of course. I make it look cleaned up and everything. I just don't do it on a live because it seems boring. Uh, Lauren Johnson. Okay. Off, off subject, but watch Debbie's video on the Paris trip. That was, what was your favorite part of the trip from Paris? What was your favorite item you brought home? So, um, it's that's... probably what you bought me, right? That's... I didn't buy you anything, you smarty <laughs> pants. Okay, will you lower the camera? I'm ready to sit down on the ground. Okay. And then I'll do this side, and then we'll shift it back to the front. Smarty pants. 
He couldn't believe I brought didn't bring him something back. But I'm like, what did you want from Paris? My mom went to, my wife went to Paris shirt. I don't know what I would have bought you. I'm with her t-shirt. <laughs> so my favorite thing that I brought back was not actually something that I bought. It was actually a gift that Debbie gave me. Um, made me cry. Actually, I sobbed out loud in the street across from Monet's garden when she gave it to me because um, I had the opportunity to buy it and I decided it was too expensive and I didn't need it. But she bought me an antique pa painter's palette and it has, it's right there actually behind Matt. He built this, its own shelf. It was a painter's palette. It has the, uh, the old brushes. It has all these oils in it, which still work because I busted one of them open just to try it out. Um, it has all of his little oils and his containers and it had a little palette um, with paints all over it. And um, anyway, I photographed it too and it blew me away. And she and I argued over me ta not taking it. Um, because it was too generous of a gift. So that was a gift I will treasure forever and ever and ever. Uh, so just to answer your question, thank you for asking. My favorite part about the trip was Monet's garden. That, just that whole experience. Being there, it was beautiful. Um, his home, all of that was, was worth the trip right there. I could have just turned around and come all the way back home and I would have been fine. Gina Leahy? Yep. Hi, Gina. Uh, did you use your brayer on this one? I missed the episode. Gina, you have to watch. <laughs> Gina, so <laughs> on um, the second, no, part two, which you can go back and watch, um, I did use the brayer. I used the brayer with Water Lily over the black was so much fun it created all this wonderful texture that you see right here and I, right now i'm putting chocolate brown wax on it rita i'm sorry i, I missed your question I, I can't see it i can't find it <laughs> she get on to you yeah she said not that, that, that. <laughs> i'm sorry i missed it rita i'm sorry Sometimes they go too fast and it's hard to scroll back up. For some reason, they won't allow you to scroll up very easily. It's so weird. Yeah, I'm trying to find it, but I can't find it. Is oh, it? thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. What Mary say? Gavin gave out a challenge and she's taking him up on, on Gavin's challenge. To, everybody gave a dollar. That, is worth your time, but that was very nice. Thank you so much, Mary. Oh, that is fantastic. Okay. <sighs> I love this. Oh my God, now she said I'm slipping. I, I gotta find an assistant. <laughs> the questions or comments are coming in faster than I can read them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rita. Oh man, don't break up, Rita. Don't break up with us. <laughs> Please don't break up with me, Rita. No, don't break up. Let me turn it around. <laughs> In his defense. Oh, uh, Rita, I just asked where to see the cabinets for sale. My pe my work? Like the like the furniture pieces? Maybe the cabinets that you that I built. I don't know. I missed it. I'm so Rita, sorry. Rita, do you mean um, the pieces of furniture that I sell? Thank you, Derek. Okay, let me keep working on this. Okay, We've got to do this Judy Boyce whole flower. On Facebook, how long do you leave the wax on before you buff it out? 24 hours at the most. I mean, I'm re I'll be ready to buff this thing in the morning because the wax will dry really quickly. Okay, Alice says, Matt, Rita wants to know what site she can go to to buy the pieces you paint. Oh, honey, my website. So my website is theturquoisiris.com. Theturquoisiris.com, Beauty Luscious. Thank you, Beauty. Ah, thank you so much. You're a super fan. Um, the turquoiseiris.com is my website. I put all furniture, all of my artwork. I put um, my tutorials. I put my upcoming classes. I have a class coming up in a couple of weeks in Feb February 8th uh, where I teach in person and I give away the piece that I'm painting. 
Um, and then I have one in McKinney, Texas. And, um, oh my gosh, Gavin gave them a challenge? He did. Why are they giving... <laughs> Gavin did? Gavin, he was great, but... Gavin, that's so nice. And so, um, was, who was the last one that just did money? Uh, Wendy Moore, thank you so Wendy much. Wendy Moore, thank you for taking Gavin's challenge. Super fans. Oh. The turquoiseirish.com is where you can make purchases, says Tracy Turan. Yes, and so everything I do there, you sign up for my Creative Connection. So I have furniture available there right now. And that's where I sell all of my work. Uh, Lauren Johnson, uh, Facebook, she said, I went, I went today to buy more DIY paint. I was going to buy water lily, but it looked much more lavender than I thought it would. It's a true... Does it go on and look like it has a lot of purple? No, blue. It doesn't come across that purple when I watch you. It's totally blue. It's a true you, periwinkle. Ellen. It's a true periwinkle, you guys. Um, you guys, that is so nice. Um, it's a true periwinkle. There's no, there's no purple in it as far as like just what a true periwinkle will have. Um, but <clears throat> I've done pieces with water lily in it, and it's definitely. I mean, it's well, I picked it. It's one of the colors that I picked for um, for the DIY paint line. So. Anyway, Thank oh my, you, Mitzi Man, ten dollars, Lady Lisa Dixon, you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh. Are you gonna cry? No, I'm not gonna cry. I was actually gonna say something really nice to you. But then I got sidetracked, and so <laughs> I, I always think that I know that everybody knows where my work. You know, like. Like, you feel like, I never want to come off salesy at all because it's not really what I'm doing. I never think about selling the piece that I'm doing um, until I'm done and actually getting it posted. So, talking about my website is one of those things I, I kind of forget to do, which is probably is not, you know, not really make me the best salesperson, but um, all of my furniture, and I ship all over the U.S., so I've had a driver for four and a half years, the same driver for four and a half years, and so um, anything can be delivered anywhere in the U.S. Uh, Lori Gill, uh, what was the best? What is the best top coat for transfers and painted? Honey, things? hang on. Catherine Hughes, ten dollars, ten euros. Thank you, Catherine. Terry Chavez. Thank you, Terry. Oh my gosh, Carts and Millie. Oh my goodness. $5.99. You guys. Okay, Facebook. I am sorry. Instagram, Facebook. Uh, our super fan is super chat money that they are able to um, contribute. Everybody knows we're working on getting new audio, sound, and lighting. And so Gavin, who is 10, has challenged them. He has a starting his own furniture painting business and he watches sometimes and he has challenged everybody to do what? A dollar? Just one dollar. That's so nice, Gavin. But don't do that again. Hearts and Millie, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so the golden ticket, I have scraped it completely gone with the golden ticket wax. And I love how the top one has totally aged. It's really kind of changed on a different look. So let's work on doing this flower. I was going to say, Matthew... I was thinking earlier, you know how or occasionally I'll say something like, I really appreciate you, and you'll say, well, oh gosh, what made you say that? Like, what happened or something? And I was just thinking sometimes there are so many things that I do, but there are also so many things I do that I would never be able to do if Matt was not a part of this and helping me along the way and helping give me the confidence that I need to do some of these things because I know he's got my back no matter what, and um, he helps me with everything. So he's been here right here the whole time i've been doing this for 10 years you're just now seeing him so i am forever grateful i wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for him oh honey we miss somebody jasmine smith jasmine smith she already gave yes yes beauty luscious we need more gavins in, in this world that's for sure um so anyway, News, it's 310 in ireland honey did i make you cry no i don't Cry. Did you even listen to me? I'm reading comments. That's my job. Yes, but thank you. Um, 
What are the best sealers to use over transfers? Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Thank you Robin. Thank you so much. Um, the best, so I like to use any type of clear sealer. I like to use Big Top and Liquid Patina. Liquid Patina has a, it's clear chandelier. Those are from DIY. Since that's all I use, you all, um, someone else will have to help you with other brands. I just, I don't even know what those products are. I'm totally 100% DIY when it comes to furniture. Um, and so I don't know, but Big Top or Crystal Clear Chandelier. Uh, Karen Brown. Hi, Karen. She would like to know where Gavin lives. <laughs> I'm not sure if we should. I don't, I don't know that um, we well, should say that. But. Gavin, before you answer that, you have to tell, ask your mom if it's all right to tell. So I talked to his mom. Talked to her tonight, actually. So. Thank you, Gavin. Thank you, Carol. I've been trying to convince her that for years. What? She said I'm a keeper. Keeper? I'm keeping you. 25 years later, I'm still keeping you, Woods. You can't get rid of me even if you try. So you're going to end up doing the whole thing or just portions of it? Now, are you going to end up going with the white wax as yeah. well? Yeah. About to grab some white wax now. Uh, Gavin resides in California. Yeah. I sent him some paint and a water girl. Do we see any paint and water girl? Yeah, water girl for Christmas. Um, where's that brown lid? Okay, guys, so for those of you asking, I'm done with this. Uh-oh, Susan Norton, I am here. Just found out daughter is pregnant. Congrats. Congratulations. Um, yes, Gavin, don't tell anything else about your address, please. Uh, Catherine Hughes, Matt, Dion, do you ship paint to the UK? I don't. I let Jamie Ray Vintage do that. Send all of your orders to jamierayvintage.com. So I'm just taking it on my drop cloth and cleaning it off, all the extra. Uh, Catherine R. Robbins, what is the difference between crystal clear chandelier and big top? Uh, Crystal clear, clear Chandelier is actually has a sticky medium to it. So when I say sticky, it's something like, you know, the Mod Podge term. You could use Crystal Clear Chandelier, like if you're wanting to apply paper or napkins or anything to a piece of furniture or gold leaf, something like that. That's what you want to do. Um, Big Top is just uh, like a clear, and also it's not as shiny, in my opinion, as the Crystal Clear Chandelier. What is my favorite wax brush? Liz, it's this one. It's all the same. Actually, that one is longer because it's the JRV one. So this one's longer, but it's the, the Lil C is my favorite wax brush. I have the longer handled ones, but I don't use them as much. And you can find those on PaintPixie. PaintPixie.com. Right? Every time we finish a video, I grab my link and I post it in the comments because um, I have an affiliate link that I would love for y'all to use. Okay, so I'm going to grab a little white. Love, just bear with me. Keeping an eye on Gavin. Okay. Okay. Jennifer Seeley. Hello, Dion and Matt. Hi, Jennifer Seeley. She's Sealy. on Facebook. What do you use on a piece you know is going to bleed through? Does DIY have a blocker or something? Nope. Nope. Um, you'll want to put down something like... Uh, Gosh, I never use it, so I can't even think of what the name is right now. Like a product from Kiehl's or something like that. If you know it's going to bleed through, like if it's a mahogany and you're using white, um, which I don't ever do. I also don't worry about bleed through because I use so many different colors. But if you're you're wanting to use like a solid color with not do all of these things that I do, um, because right now when I have bleed through, it actually adds, so it doesn't it doesn't bother me. So um, for different technique, you maybe would, would work really well. Yeah, you could use like a shellac or a um, kills, something like that. Okay, I'm going to go in with just a little bit of white, guys. i got to play around with this. Uh, Mona H., if I want to paint my antique metal lawn chairs, yeah. will, the, will the DIY do okay with harsh sun? 
And what should I seal it with? Yeah, it's a clay-based paint, so it's very durable. And the longer it cures, the more hard it becomes. It's like the clay that would be like in dirt outside. We have clay dirt in our yard. And um, that's just what Oklahoma has is clay dirt. It's extremely hard. So it's perfectly fine for outside. You just have to make sure you put a good sealer on it because it is water-based. Uh-oh. So I'm adding a little bit of white over the black, which is causing almost like a little bit of a shimmer. Um, I don't necessarily need to do that. I just kind of wanted to see what it was going to look like, to be honest with you. I didn't necessarily need to. Um... No, that's right, Gavin. I will not let you do that. I would delete your comment immediately if you did that. So you don't have to tell anybody where you are. I do talk to your mom. I actually talked to her tonight and sent her um, a reply to your video. So. He's been working hard trying to work the palette knife and figure all of that out. It's, it's, it's a process. It, it is a process. We have, it's, it's easy to get frustrated. So I was just telling them, Matt, that I'm using the white. Uh, Alice, she had a question. She wants to know how Abby's doing. She's still limping. Not bad. I mean, it's just kind of a, a limp. But what she does is she chases those squirrels and she, she pulls something here in her ligament. Like, is that the right word? Um, pull a muscle. Probably. She pulls a muscle. And so she's limping a little bit. Thank you for asking about it. It's very sweet of you guys. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit up here. Uh, uh, Facebook, I'm sorry. I can't see your comments okay. right now. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to move it up one more time, Matt. I'm sorry that I'm so close. Okay, and then we'll be done. I love the shadowy effect that it cr creates. And I'm sure that shadowy is a real word, right? Oh, shadows, yes. It's in the, it's in the modern mm -hmm. dictionary. All right, let's move this forward. So I want you to be able to see all of the texture over here. Okay. See? Karen, you know what? It doesn't. It, I'm certain that it will at some point in my life, but right now I'm okay. So there it is, you guys. Uh, the texture, you can see where some of the black came through. Um, the baby bud peonies, uh, the gold shimmer all here. Put black a little white here just as if the sun were here and it's just a little bit more highlighted where it's darker underneath um, oh my gosh <laughs> I'd love this to be on like a, a glider where I could actually pull it down and it'd be smooth so it didn't be bumpy for them I was just wanting to show you guys down here as well making sure I give you a good view. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me on this. This was my first attempt to do peonies and um, hopefully it won't be my last. I think I did a pretty decent job. Um, I know that I need to figure out the feathery, of the, the featherness of the petals. And um, I just wanna thank you. Thank you, Gavin. Thank you, everybody, I appreciate it. Um, hopefully you'll try something yourself and um, I always want to encourage you to try something that you haven't done before because what's the fun in continuing to do the same thing that you always do over and over right uh, pick different colors do things that you're not used to um, you know me I like to use a lot of blue 
and the only blue on here was water lily and you can't really see it until you look up there at the top but that was a really fun thing to do we laid the piece on its back and we sprayed water lily on it and then we rolled it with the brailler and it ended up being um very very fun looking and it's kind of it's just it's soft but matt do you think it that distressed it right like that aged it we sanded it and then we put that dark wax on it so yeah you think I'm done or do you think I need to do any more to it? I think you'll probably decide that once you stand back and look at it. You know what will happen. I'll come in here in the morning and I'll open up the curtains and I'll decide then if I need to keep working on it. But for now, I think I'm finished. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I think we went way longer than we normally do, but I wanted to get it finished. It was great hanging out and all of you super fans, thank you so much for contributing to the audio and light situation that we're still working on. You guys have a great night. I'll talk to you. Uh, no, I won't be here tomorrow on YouTube or Instagram. It's Friday Night Live with my friend Quita Allen. So if you want to catch us tomorrow, we will be live on Facebook at 8.30 Central Time. Otherwise, Saturday it is. So, see you later. See you. See ya. Bye, Instagram.